And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him, uh, providing, saying, Tell us, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of the coming and of the end of the world? Those sentences from the book of Matthew 24 are so important because I'm sitting at the church that was built in the 4th century. And those words, according to what we believe actually uh, happened here. I mean, Jesus was sitting in that area um, with the disciples that asked him about the end of the world. And um, before we we'll continue, I want you to understand that that church was called at that time Aluana, and when St. Helen, the mother of Constantine, came to Jerusalem, she built three churches, Jerusalem and Bethlehem. The first one is the Nativity, the Nativity of Jesus. The second one is about is crucifixion and resurrection, Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The third one is on top of Mount of Olives, and I'm sitting right there, and we can see the mosaics from, uh, from the Byzantine time. Then in that case, three churches tells us that in the fourth century, there were three important sites in Jerusalem, and that is, this is one of them. Sadly, we don't know, most of you don't know about that church, Aloana Church, or now we call it Paternoster Church. Then in that case, let's continue to read what's happened, actually what's happened here, but before that, you can see here three Jerusalem crosses, and um, I'm blessing it for Dina and Art, and um, EJ and Betty bought it for you, then I bought the crosses for them as well. I will take a video of those crosses. Uh, I will upload it to YouTube, and that's why you're watching it. And I will send it. I will send the the the, the, the crosses to their houses. Then Betty already has got a cross in her house, and you can do the two. Um, just go into the description, and you will find the link for buy me a coffee. And if uh, and you will get the, all the information there. If not, just mark me a message. And by the and if you're doing it, just uh, subscribe my channel as well. Then let's continue to read. Four and then and Jesus answered them, answered and said unto them, Take it that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and I shall uh, deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations and kingdom against kingdom. We know it, especially here in Israel. And there shall be um, feminists and pastorists and earthquakes in, uh, deliver, in uh, delivered places. All these are beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up? and so on and so on she'll kill you I don't like that then all the mystery was told here we believe that everything that that was the kind of the um, most important site of Jesus in Jerusalem he, although that place is Jerusalem to, to uh, the area of Jerusalem uh, we believe that most of the time that he visit Jerusalem he was staying here in that place then let me arrange the crosses and then we will continue then we are leaving that small chapel which is so important for me because it actually takes me to the beginner of Christianity and let's enter to see what's happening now. 
Then the first guard, the first part is the garden. It's so many olive woods and pomegranate trees. And it's so quiet here. It's so quiet mainly because there are no tourists um, at all. Look at Peter Fertis. It's kind of a replica of the Byzantine church. And it looks like they didn't finish building it. True, true, but we didn't reach the modern church. Let's continue with um, a little bit of history here. At 614, it had been destroyed by the Persians, and 1808 by Al Hakim, the Muslim ruler. And then the Crusader came to here. The Crusader changed a little bit the meaning or the story of the church. It's not like they changed it, they actually emphasize one of the things, and then it's the Lord's Prayer. If everything was taught here, then the Lord's Prey was taught here too. Then they changed the name from Alwana, which is Mount of Olives, uh, Olives. Um, they changed it to Pater, they changed it to Pater Nuster, and uh, uh, the Lord's Prey. And um, and it was smaller. And if you already follow me, you know that, that the Crusaders built fortresses, not only churches, because there were a minority among uh, so many Muslims' enemies. Then it was built by two Danish people. One of them died here, and the other one, uh, and, and buried his brother, asked to be buried too, at 1152, uh, been destroyed by the Salahaddin, the Muslim rulers, at 18... Um, not 18, 11, 87. And um, later on in the 19th century, um, the French, the Carmelite order, um, bought it and it's part of uh, them now. And it was built by the Sossi, which is a woman. And I love to talk about it because we just came from the Chapel of the Ascension and it was built by Pumina, another woman. Women power! Um, at the beginning of the 4th century, the idea that that was the Ascension site was very strong. And then it moved like 200 meters to the left, to the upper part, to the lower, to the highest part of Mount of Olives in that area. Um, the most important part here, and everyone built their church, on top of it is a cave. And we believe that that cave was the cave that Jesus taught their disciples. Um, sadly, it's been destroyed. Then you won't see a lot of it, mainly because of the First World War. Um, the Germans and the Ottomans used it as a kitchen. Uh, we believe that... that um, um, the cave was so important that the Bishop of Jerusalem actually been buried there uh, instead of, uh, I don't know, Church of the Holy Sepulchre, for example. Then let's go into the church, uh, the cave. The modern church that was built by the Susi is actually, they started to build it. They built a... Um, uh, Carmelite uh, church and the cloister that looks like Pisa in Italy and they had no money and then they kept it like that and if you ask me let it be just like that and around the walls you will see the blast of um, a father who is in heaven the Lord's Prayer in so many dialogues and languages all around it more very close to 200 like that but we are entering to the cave together with Dina and Art uh, together with you the one who are watching my videos another small part from the uh, mosaic floor but he's so big a part of it and here you can see the um, Inscription that I think we found in the 1911 in Armenian and Hebrew. 
and you can see that the letters looks the same because it's actually the same and you know what let me read it from you because from here i wanted to read it for you for you in uh, uh in another place uh, but uh, this is older then hebrew is to the right oh yeah you can see it Armenian is to the left we are reading from right to um um from right to left and you know what i will read one sentence in Hebrew, one sentence in Aramaic. Avinu asher b'shamayim. Abuna dish bishmaya. Sounds almost the same, oh, at least for me. It kadesh shimcha. It kadesh shimcha. Same, same. Tavo malchuta, tavo malchutcha. Tete malchutcha. Yaser et sonkha, tehaver reutcha. Kasher b'shamayim ba'aret, kedei b'shamaya ben le'arya. לחמנו תן לנו דבר יום ביומו, לחמנה אב לנו סונצי יוסי כיומה, ויישא לנו מעשתנו וישטח לנו חובתנו. Uh, I will read it to you in Hebrew later on, but you, you actually can feel that, that, uh, uh, the, that it's, I mean, that the similarity of, of those two languages, and I want you to understand that um, Jesus actually knew Hebrew, of course, and Aramite. Most of the people spoke Aramite. In the, um, the answers you will find, and in the Acts you will find an inscription that says um, that the Lord thought the disciples, apostles, in Mount of Olives, which is right here. We, we just read it. I didn't read it for you in Hebrew. Never mind. I will read something else in Hebrew. Then this is what remains for the cave. It was much bigger than that. And that part is the area of the tombs. Let me use the flashlight. And again, thanks to one of you, one of my subscribers who told me to do that. I didn't know that I can do that. And here it is. You can see a little bit of it. We will talk about um, how just been buried later on when I will take you to Dominus Flavit, the Lord wept, and we will go through um, a burial, Jewish burial site. Some of them are from the time of uh, Jesus. Then this is the cave, um, the Carmelite order, Carmel 9 announced, are not actually walking around that area. If they want to pray, they will pray from 12 o'clock. Here, because at 12 o'clock they will close that uh, the church, and they will might sit here, and it's beautiful to see a Greek Orthodox icon in a Catholic church. Jesus is standing here, and we are the disciples. You are the disciples. You are now listening to what he have to say. Let's go out, please. Just want you to see the two tombs there of the Danish brothers, the crusaders, who actually helped to build that crusader church. A viewpoint, a way to the viewpoint is from there. The only problem is that they um, planted a lot of olive trees that you won't be able to see that. the side of the temple later on, you will see it with me. Then let's continue. Every time that I'm taking videos of same places, it's always different. Look at Cloister, look how beautiful it is. Samaritan, Almond. Polish, Portuguese, Sanskrit, Chinese, Ethiopian, 
cupped. And we're stopping next to Hebrew. Let me put uh, three crosses here. This is of Dina in art and Sunni Musidades. Those Jerusalem crosses that you see here, it's uh, the symbol of Jerusalem. The big cross here is Jerusalem. The four others, whatever you want, Africa, Asia, Europe, um, America, um, no, Asia, uh, four stigmatas altogether, uh, five stigmatas altogether. But the idea is that Jerusalem is in the center. I'm buying it from a Christian shop, mainly because uh, there are only two or three uh, shops of, of, that are owned by Christians in the, uh, Jerusalem. And for me, it's important to help them, especially when there are no tourists. Then, Hebrew, you already know that it's from right to left. Um, are you ready with your uh, version? If not, stop the video for a minute, take the English version and follow me. Avinu Hasher Bashamayim. It Kadeshimcha Tavomal Chutcha Yehira Tsumcha Kasher Bashamayim Vehen Baaretz Lachmenu Tmidi Yom Beyom Ten Lanu Hayom Veslach Lanu Et Chvoteinu Kasher Vanu Solachnu Lubale Chvoteinu Vealta Venen in Seyon Ki Im Atsilenu Mi Ra. Tada da. Amazing, isn't it? Then, let's say goodbye. You do have another important video of, uh, of um, Pater Noster. If you do have some questions, please ask me as whatever you want. I will try to answer everyone till now. I did it, I have sadly no tourists now then. I can, I have a lot of time to answer. And please subscribe my channel and, uh, and uh, celebrate. It's Christmas soon, bye bye.